Yunjin Ryu coming off a terrific outing last time out against this same Orioles ball club. Two outs. Breaking ball, little lazy pop up. Sibian into the outfield. Grass makes the catch. The Orioles leave another base runner. Two out walk, not any damage. Keegan Aiken will get the start. He's a former second round draft pick in 2016. Oh, the it's movement. Perfect. As long as you make quality pitches. That one is hit again to Galvis. He's got it in the hole. And Keegan Aiken has himself a one, two, three, bottom of the first inning. The former member of the Blue Jays and Freddie Galvis runs up to bunt, sets it down. Beauty. Freddie Galvis, a bunt single, and the Orioles have got a pair of men on base against Yun Jin Ryu, something that the Orioles have had some problems doing. Well, he's tough to hit, so think of other ways. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. It's just amazing how many guys get hurt running. So he's most likely going to have to leave. This kind of looks kind of what Alex Bregman went through. So it's going to be interesting to see who they're going to run out there since he's out of this game. Ryu steps away from one. There's a double play ball right up the middle. Ryu looked like he was trying to get out of the way of it, and it was perfect. Went right to Bo Bichette, then they turned a quick double play as Simeon flipped it to Bichette. You know, one thing that I have noticed over the last couple of years watching Ryu, how aware he is as a baseball player. He just had the ability to make quality pitches. There's a ball ripped past the third baseman down the left field line into the corner. Simeon is headed for second. The ball gets hung up in that fence down there, and he breezes into second with a two-out double. That's four straight games now for Simeon with an extra base hit. Bo grounded out to shortstop his first time up. Goes after the first pitch and rips it into the alley and right center. That'll go all the way to the wall. Simeon is in to score and Bichette is hustling into second with an RBI double. And the Blue Jays break out on top one to nothing. Good to see second time through get a gauge of that fastball first time through it looked like they were surprised a little bit that it was getting on them. First sim in and now Bo is able to rifle that ball up the alley and right center. Vladimir Guerrero. Back to back two on doubles for the Jays. Swing a high fly ball to the left field this ball's going to go gone two run home run for Vladdy. On the first pitch, again. make that nine first pitch home runs for Guerrero from the on deck circle, just ready to hit. Fastest in team history to hit 25 home runs in a season. He did it in 74 games. And here's another one. How about back to back home runs? So it took the Blue Jays just one at bat to get zeroed in on Keegan Aiken, and they have jumped all over him here in the third inning. Back to back home runs for Teoscar, his 11th home run of the season. It's four to nothing, Blue Jays. Just two hits, they both came in back to back order in the second. Austin Hayes and Freddy Galvis. There's a strike called strike three, right on the quarter, down and away. You know, that was the pitch in the last uh, game that really bailed him out and helped him to pitch seven innings. That back Ground ball. Bo has it bounce up on him, stays composed, makes the play. Three up, three down. Go play indie ball. They'll continue to play winter ball. Springer gets jammed and lifts a pop up down the left field line. This is going to be trouble. It's in and out of the club of Malenka. And Espinal is in to score. Or excuse me, Bichette's in to score. As Springer gets a little blooper that. Valenka had it in his glove, but it popped out and fell swiftly to the ground, and it'll be an RBI for George Springer. With two inherited base runners, one's already come in to score, and Randall hits one high in the air to left. This ball is carried. This ball's going to go. Get out of here. God, home run for Randall Gritchick. The third home run for the Blue Jays this afternoon. A three-run homer for Randall. A one for two effort on the Opener Thursday night, and he hits this one in the air. Uriel on the run. He's got room. Makes a running catch right on the warning track, and Mancini's retired. Another three up, three down inning. 
14 in a row retired by Yunjin Ryu. Jimmy and drills this one to left. This ball is going to be off the wall. One hops the fence in left field. Espinal will go to third. Simeon has his second double of the afternoon. And he hits. There's a line drive in the left field. That's going to score a couple of runs. Here's the throw to home plate. And it's not in time. Espinal and Simeon both come in to score. It's 10 nothing. You don't want to pitch to Vladdy? That's fine. You got to pitch to Teo, and there's no place to put him, so you got to come to him in a game. Pretty impressive offense. George Springer goes out for the first pitch and hits it into that outfield. That's a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate, cut off. As Vladdy slides in with the 11th run, another RBI for Springer, his second of the afternoon. And the hits just keep on coming. Pitch. He goes the other way. That's another base hit. Another run comes in to score as Hernandez crosses home plate with the 12th Blue Jay run. Four RBIs for Gritchick. I think Ryu's got going for him is that those shadows covering up home plate. Severino lines this one in a left field. It'll bring Hayes in. Throw coming to the plate. The catch, the tag, safe. A two-run single for Pedro Severino. The Orioles on the board in the seventh. Good numbers with the bases loaded. And he adds to it. Mullins sends this one to the outfield. It brings in Franco. It'll bring in another two-run double for Cedric Mullins, and it's 12-4. That's going to be the end of the afternoon for Yunjin Ryu. As the Orioles get to him here in the seventh. This is Joe Piamps, and we mentioned he's not pitched since the 17th of June against the Yankees. Breaking ball hit in the air, and this should do it. Guriel, the left fielder, moves underneath it, and that's the ball game. The Blue Jays win game three of this four game series, 12 to 4 to take a two games to one advantage against the Orioles.